What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Stash Rules. And today on Come Cook With Me, I got somebody very special to me, just chasing Ferraris with me in real life. You know what I mean? Tell them where you're from, brother. Straight out of Virginia. What's your name? Cassius Ferrer. Yes, sir. This is my boy. And today you're going to be cooking? We're going to be making a homemade pizza for you guys. We have our dough already pre-made. Uh, it came from uh, Mac and Bob's, a restaurant in Salem, Virginia. Uh, you know, if you wanted to go the frozen route, though, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to make your own, it's not that difficult. It's just sugar, salt, yeast, water, and vegetable oil, and then flour, and then but you do have to let it sit overnight. So it's something that you're gonna have to think about and okay. do the day before if this is something you're gonna wanna do. But there's nothing wrong with uh, store-bought uh, dough. And uh, we're gonna be uh, making a white meat lover pizza for you because I know that you don't uh, do uh, red meat, so. You know what I like. We've got some. No pun intended. <laughs> we've got some ground turkey. We've got some uh, sliced pepperoni turkey, mozzarella cheese. We're gonna make a homemade sauce for you guys. And then, like I said, we have the dough that um, was made the day before. Uh, it's something that has to proof for at least 12 hours. So if this is something that you're gonna wanna do, uh, you're gonna wanna that's right. do so, that ahead of time, obviously. So get into the details, because that's what we do on Come Cook With Me. We wanna teach the people at home how to prepare meals in 10, 20 minutes that they can be proud of. Let's get right into it. Uh, yeah. We're gonna take our dough ball. We've got a uh, bowl of flour here. We're gonna coat the dough in flour on both sides. Then we'll take it out and kind of sift some of the flour off so we don't make a mess. We're gonna make a little mess, but it's pizza. So I mean, you no know, question. that's okay. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna kind of squeeze the ends of the dough. And then once we have it large okay. we're, we're bringing it up our wrists okay we're coming back and forth bringing it up our wrists oh and there we okay. go okay then we can that was gonna fly <laughs> thank you sir. i never thank knew you sir. could do that by the way. i never knew you could do that i've been doing way. this a while all right that's dope so, so how then, long you been cooking uh man? i've been at mac and bob's for almost 12 years now what and um they make all kinds of food, pizzas, calzones, wings, fillies, and um, yeah, cooking is uh, something that I love to do. So this is kind of a hidden talent. Why all those nights in the studio, why are we ordering pizza and wings instead of you? <laughs> come on, I'm doing that all the time. Do we really need to be doing that all my time off? I mean, come on. <laughs> but uh, Okay. <laughs> So we've got our dough uh, stretched out on our pizza pan. We're gonna go ahead and grab our pot. We've got our pot of sauce. I went ahead and opened up the cans already. We did um, we did two cans of diced and then we did two cans of tomato sauce. Okay. Super easy, y'all. Y'all can do this at home. So don't We're going to add uh, just a few spices. We will add about a half ounce, one ounce black pepper, half ounce, one ounce salt. And this for a whole pot or half a pot of sauce. Th this will, this, the amount of sauce that we have right now, this would probably do you three pizzas. Okay, yep. cool. And uh, we're going to add oregano leaves, just a dash. Basil leaves, just a dab, and then garlic powder. Can't go wrong with that. We'll do about an ounce of that. That's right. We'll mix that up. Now see, one thing about garlic, you can smell it. Uh -oh. And garlic and basil mixed together automatic taste. You like immediately Italian. smell it as soon as you throw it in that pot. You know? So we'll get this out of the way. Your navel cavities start tasting the food already before you get it. Now, when you're doing your sauce, uh, you know, you want to get it as evenly as possible. I like to uh, hold, the, hold the pizza in one hand and I'll take a ladle. I'm left-handed, so I know that's weird for a lot of you guys. Uh, You're worried anyway. You, usually you want to do about uh, four ounces in uh, four ounces of sauce per pizza should do. We're going to put it right there in the middle and then we're going to 
spread it out to the edges. Just four ounces? While slowly spinning the pan. Okay. Ah, I see that. That's like the 7-Eleven jump. When you walk in there drunk late night, and that jump <laughs> spinning on the jump, and, and you mesmerize. You know you're in good hands. <laughs> that was a manual that. jump. That was good, my brother. That was, that was good. That was good, my brother. That was good. So we've got our sauce. Now we've got our fresh mozzarella. You don't want to uh, put too much in the very middle of the pizza because as it cooks, it's going to kind of sift into the sift into the center of the pizza and then it's gonna get real soggy if you put too much cheese right in the middle. True. So you wanna go a little light in the middle and make sure you get the cheese all the way up here onto the crust. Ah, so that makes sense. That's why people always eat close to the crust because that's where the cheese is. That's, that's where what all doing. the good that's stuff what doing. is. And y'all have no idea how good this smells. I'm telling you guys, y'all have no idea how good this smells. This smells amazing. So we went ahead and prepared some ground turkey. Uh, we seasoned it with some salt, pepper, some garlic powder. Right. And uh, we cooked that off in the pan and we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle our toppings. Like I said, you don't want too much right in the middle because it's, everything's gonna kind of sift to the middle anyway. Right. We'll sprinkle that around nice and evenly. This episode of Come Cook With Me is sponsored by No Grease Premium Barbershop, located at 5512 New Fashion Way, Charlotte, North Carolina. Now back to the show. Bow, 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 bow. And then next, uh, we're gonna add our, what are you, turkey pepperoni? Turkey pepperoni, turkey brother. Sorry, I can't. Not pork. Not beef, turkey, turkey gobble, pepperoni. Gobble, gotcha. All right, now what temperature will you be cooking uh, this oven on? We've got our oven preset to uh, 400 degrees, and then it's probably going to take any, you know, depending on your oven, it could take anywhere from 12 to 7 minutes, somewhere in that range. You just want to keep an eye on it. Okay, okay. Now, the next question I got to ask you, even though I'm not in Virginia as much anymore, I heard you've been making a little noise man <laughs> i heard they closed down a couple of you guys skateboard or skate parks whatever um salem virginia had one skate park moyer skate park and they decided that they were going to close it down and build a 17 pickleball courts instead so yes they really thought that they could do that and i wouldn't drop a diss track on them <laughs> They were wrong. They are getting all the diss tracks and I have more for them if they don't build our park soon. You have more diss tracks for it. I have more. There is always more. Well, me personally, I like roll my weeds, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you go follow my little brother at uh, the Cassius Ray. It's uh, pretty much the same thing across all socials, Instagram, TikTok. YouTube, the Cash okay. Ray, you'll find me. All right, and he has some cool vlogs out too. Don't pay attention to his football team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He has some cool stuff out, man. I need y'all to go support my brother. Not only is he a great cook, he's a great brother. He's always had my back. We've been chasing Ferraris together for a little while now, or a long while, depends on how you look at time. I don't look at time, I just be looking good. Thank you very much, that means the world to me. The final step before we throw this in the oven, we're gonna add a little bit of oregano and basil, just sprinkle it on top. Oh, that's the sprinkle. And then it's gonna cook in there nice and good. Well, if it's both of them, why you ain't doing it with two hands? So it's just, it's a we one. Can do, we can double fist it, we can double fist it. You wanna double fist it, we can double fist it, no problem. Man, you're just in your bad of, jokes, just, man. Just <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. What are talking about? There's only one about? thing left to do. You want to do the honors? You can do the honors, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, sir. I'm supposed to cut it, though. I, I, I'm supposed to do what I want I to do. I do one straight across. Okay. Then do, make a plus sign. I know how to do that. I know how to add. But yeah, I know how to add. And now, and then exit. Oh, I get it. I get it. I just ain't never done it before, man. There you man. go. He's I'm so a, used to people He's doing, a natural. Don't let him fool you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So we cut some smaller slices for those that ain't greedy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Yes, sir. There we go. Beautiful. 
We have a Cassius Ray. White meat lover pizza. No, a uh, turkey pepperoni, turkey sausage Chris pizza. Stash rolls. Mm. Only thing go good with this was champagne. Which one you want to pop? The gold? We're going to go gold. We're going to go gold? We're going to go gold. Hey, man. This has been an awesome day. Love spending time with you. You've been in trenches with me. And we up. Popping bottles every day. Eating good. Doing what we want to do. Signing off. Cheers. Come cook with me. Oh. Till the next time. <laughs> They're popping the bottom. Oh, word. I, I wasn't all alone. He's a reoccurring. <laughs> I don't know if he's a guest or he lives here. I don't know. <laughs> but we love him just the same. Well, okay. Tastes better when you spill it. <laughs> Pour it over that motherfucker. Pour that bitch over there. Put some on it. Put some on it. Put some on it. Put some on it. I'm gonna try it too, fella. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Hmm. Surprisingly good. Ciao. Cooking with me in the kitchen. Cooking with me in the kitchen. Me and my kitchen cooking.